heading out to the, the wildlife refuge area that's uh, out south of Corvallis here, the Finley Wildlife Refuge. Uh, went out there for a couple days in a row to try and check out some some of the area out there. I think it's now opened up a little bit more officially. I think during the first weeks of the lockdown here in Oregon, the uh, the road to that was gated up. I think almost for like two months, the, the road that cut through to the main section of the wildlife refuge had been boarded up. Well, not boarded up, but uh, I think there's like a, a gate that cuts across the front entrance of it. Even though it's it's really sort of a, a public road that sort of that cuts through to the, the highway on the other side. I think it goes from from Bell Fountain Road over to Highway 99 on the other side. So you can cut all the way through, but they yeah they clo- closed off both ends. I think because there's a, a visitor center in the in the middle there, and they didn't want people coming in and congregating or or I guess uh, traveling on the trails for a period of time. Um, so yeah, and I noticed that on a, a couple other spots, a couple of the entrances, they said uh, that maybe I think that you couldn't enter for a while. Then they sort of shifted those regulations around, like we I think kind of talked about on a couple of the previous podcasts. And uh, and then you could walk, but then you had to remain socially distanced and, and the rest of it. Um, so I think yeah, it's opened uh, it's opened back up mostly now, uh, and has been for the last few weeks. Normally, I think the the wildlife refuges in this area open up on april 1st and then closed down again on november 1st and i think that's for the migratory bird uh i guess seasonal patterns that they that they are in so i think it's for i think it's an area for canadian geese to come in uh and winter in if that sounds right is that for, i guess that's far enough so um, it's loaded up there in the winter time. It's loaded with birds and cranes and egrets and stuff. It's really cool to to go down there and uh, and take some binoculars and look around. A lot of eagles late in the winter. I think uh, that was pretty cool during like February and in March of this year. There were a lot of bald eagles out in that area, the Willamette Valley, uh, just sort of roaming around. But that was pretty fun to see. A lot of hawks too. That was really cool. Uh, so yeah, a lot of birds in that area, but. I cruised down there this uh, last week for a couple trips to kind of uh, hike out to a few spots now that it's a little more opened up and you can kind of travel through. And it's nice. It's really close to the the area around here, and it's it's a little more opened up. That's one thing I was noticing as I was looking for a few areas that were a little more opened up as a meadow and not as, uh, as uh, tightly constricted of a forest area. Well, I'll talk about a few of those places next, too. But uh, th- this area is really cool, though, the... Uh, the Willamette Valley area, just or really probably a lot of Western Oregon in total, uh, this time of year for the last couple of weeks of May and the first couple of weeks of June, uh, there's still so much water and rain and sun in the area as it uh, as it's coming down that we really get a lot of flowering plants this time of year, and then later into July, well even even by the the end of June. And then as you go into July for sure and August, it, it just gets so dry that there's there's really no more wild flowering plants out on the hillsides and in the meadows. And so that's what's really cool about right now is you can go out into a meadow and you're, you're going into pretty tall grass because the grass is growing really tall as well right now and going to seed. And then there's a lot of 